We're now looking at a, a consumer segmentation, and this was carried out uh, in France. The, the numbers that you're looking at here in terms of the percentages are the numbers for May. And when I move the chart on now, you will see the numbers changing and showing the numbers for June and the respective difference. Now, before I go into it anymore, I'll just explain the axes. So the horizontal axis is the consumer perception towards the economic situation in their country and their personal economic situation. The vertical axis in the middle is their intention to buy. Now, the really pleasing thing to come out of this very up-to-date segmentation is actually there is a, a large consumer group, around 35% in the top right-hand corner here, who we call you know, the work hard, play hard, and the immune group. Now this group are still willing, you know, despite everything that's gone on, they are willing to consume premium as they did before. They can afford to do that and they want to do that. So it's great that we actually still see 35% of consumers in that space. On the other side of the chart, on the bottom left-hand corner, we have the concerned group with the, with the careful ones just above that. And actually what we see here is, is a decline overall in June compared to May. Um, when you look at the careful and concerned groups together, but actually the concern group overall has grown, which again shows that we've still got around 20%, 28% of consumers who are looking for that value for money, those promotional campaigns, and that really high relevance to them of purchasing at, at, that, at that promoted price or that lower price. In the middle, and the smallest part of the market, is the 23%, the what we call the, the, the friends first group, and these are the people who, you know, they have a, a reasonably positive perception towards the economic situation, but actually their intention to buy is still quite low. And this is because they spend their money in other ways. They're more interested in experiences. They're more interested in, you know, going out and doing things than perhaps owning physical products. This group still exists in the middle. It has declined somewhat in June. But again, we have that, that, that mid-market segment. So the reason for showing this is really just to point out actually that you know that the, the up-to-date segmentation actually the, the, the consumers are there is quite a lot of movement month on month in, in consumer sentiment and it's important to have an up-to-date view of segmentation to understand obviously how consumers are feeling at that time.